Hey, welcome to my journey. Today we're going to do a video. We hadn't done one of these in a good while. I have one of my junk journals, this one right here, that I finished working in. This is my gift bag, the one that I made. Um, I showed you on the video. I'm pretty sure how I made it. I think maybe I did. I don't know. But anyway, this was a gift bag that I got at um, Dollar Tree. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that would be a beautiful junk journal cover. So that's what I came home and made. And so I've been working on it and I finally finished it. I I would work on it, you know, in between other stuff and this and the other. Well, I finally finished it and I thought, well, I'll show it to you. And like I always tell you when I show you my junk journals, they're not like anybody else's junk journals. They're mine. Um, this one's made with more decoration things more ephemera stickers and things like that there's no magazines in here there's like some book things in here but no magazines this is a, a different junk journal than you've ever seen from me before but it's still different from the ones everybody else's uh, everybody else does and that's what i always want you to take away from my junk journal videos is they are personal they're personal to you as long as you like them they're a work of art and as long as you like them and they appeal to you then it's a junk journal and it's yours so you don't have to look like anybody else um nothing i make is nothing to sell there's a lot of um ladies out there that do them and sell them for journaling purposes they have etsy shops and they they mass make them and they're beautiful and they're so precise and mine mine are not <laughs> mine are just i just do them for enjoyment and anyway, so I thought I would bring you along and let you see how this one turned out. So let, let's just turn around and look at it. Okay, I think we're going to be able to see from here. The first thing I have is my tassel. Just my different ribbons that I thought matched real pretty with the cover. And I just tied on some charms. So there's a peace sign. There's um, just some little charms. I just tied them on wander and a key and some little whirly gigs and then there's this i made out of beads it says beautiful and so that's just um my tassel i love tassels on my journals i just love tassels on my journals and this one i sewed it in you can see um, and then the cover like i said is a gift bag so you can see where I folded it down and I glued it all the way across. And then these are just, oh, I'm sorry, just the handles to it. I didn't make a closure. Um, I can put a piece of elastic, you know, around it if I want to, but I'm just leaving it like it is. So this is our beginning page. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. I guess you can consider this playing. Some people are like, what's the purpose in that? Well, purpose is just, well, I mean, what is the purpose in, in a hobby? Does it have to have a purpose other than to bring you joy? I don't think so. So there's the purpose. <laughs> so we will just go through and I'll just let you look. And I left some of my um, decorative scrapbook pages. I just left them every single page just so I have to have something on it. Th this is a decoration in itself. Believe you got this. Dollar Tree sticker page. This is some of that um, paper paint that I was gifted. You can see the glitter on there. Oh, this is Cherish What You Have Right Now. Remember this, that very little is needed to make a happy life. I guess I could have put something in here. Oh, I missed a page. I'm going to have to go back and do that. Oh, well, we're going to keep going. Just know that I'll come back and get this blank page right here. I've got a lot of blank pages. 
Oh my gosh. How in the world did I thought I went through and found all my pages? Well, I still got some work to do, so just ignore that. More stickers. There's the other owl. You see, you know, I love, I love my bling. Life is lovely. Throw kindness around like confetti. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Take the moment and make it perfect. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and there's my owls. The whole page is just too cute, so I just put the whole page on here. This is just a collage page. And a lot of this is Dollar Tree stuff. See, there's some of my blingy butterflies. If you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. Catherine Hepburn. Music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Berthold Arbach. I believe that. I can get in my car. Y'all know I've told you before. I can get in my car, turn that music on and ride, and it just, it like, it fixes things. These just come out of a little children's book. <laughs> More collage pages. Live life out loud. Y'all bling that one up. More collage pages. These I made with my paper punch. Punches. Oh, let me, hold, let me cover that. This is from Rainy. She sent me some things she colored. And she decorated the envelope. So I cut it out and decorated this page with uh, um, the things on her envelope. But I put her, her thing there. And I didn't want y'all to see her address. So let me. There. <laughs> and a bunch of butterfly stickers. Another collage page. A warm smile is the universal language of kindness. All that is worth cherishing begins in the heart. More collage pages. Surround yourself with greatness. Choose happy. Any cute. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. Helen Keller. Boy. More blingy butterflies. Some more collage pages. More of those pretty stickers from the Dollar Tree. That was a already a piece of um, scrapbook paper, and I just put some of that glittery paint on there. I thought that turned out so pretty. If there was ever a time to dare to make a difference, to embark on something worth doing, it is now. And this, I just thought it was cool because I had this piece this that I found in a magazine that I had just saved. And it's, he's put stuff in the mail. And I just got some of my um, favorite little stamps because, you know, I save stamps off of my envelopes and put them on there. Let's dare to be ourselves for we do that better than anyone else can. Yes, yes, yes. And then here's the final page. Yep. So that's it. That is my little gift bag journal. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it and gives you some um, ideas. You don't have to 
like do anything elaborate go to the Dollar Tree find a gift bag you like fold it up glue it boom check your video out on how to sew in signatures each one of these sections is called a signature there's tons of videos out there I've even shown how to do it on mine and um Let's get you some stickers and some washi tape and some paint and some markers and some glue sticks and just anything you collect. Cut pictures out of magazines off of greeting cards. You name it. And then just start having fun. Like that right there. That little owl. He was the front of an old, um, really old notebook I had that it was a, I kept it as a address book. And a lot of the addresses has changed and all this and that. So I just tossed it and kept the cover. So I was like, well, he's going in there because he matches. He's cute. So there's all kinds of things you can use um, to make a little junk journal with. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on my next one.